Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome back to my latest mini journal zine video. So if you've been following these since the beginning of the year, I've been making one every month. And so last month I created the zine for July and I set my intentions and I included this little waterfall card and on one of my latest videos I've included a little tutorial for that so I'll make sure that's linked down below in case you missed it and since the video I've then added a few more of my I've decorated the rest of the pages so I decided on this one I wanted to document the fact that I'd released a new Skillshare class all about gratitude journaling and also I went on this lovely early morning walk and the sunlight coming through the trees was just stunning so I wrote myself a little reminder always look up and I had to include that in there and then at the end I included a quick review of the month just writing about all of the things that have been happening and I used some printables in there. I've recently bought some new ones from Pink Monarch Prints, Artie Mays and Victoria Designs. And I'm really enjoying using these kind of in my zines and normal journals and then just adding some extra stickers and decorations on top. So I've got the blank for my August zine all there ready. And if you're new to my channel, I'll leave a link down below to the last time that I made one of these zines on camera so that you can learn how to make this. You just need one A4 piece of paper. And the first thing I'm gonna do is decorate my cover. And this was one of my printables, my Patreon printables um, for, for my August set. I went for a rose theme. So the first thing I'm going to do is just you add some glue all over my cover and I'm going to be using Pritt Stick. So now I've added the glue, I'm going to pop it down onto the paper, just making sure that I'm well away from that white border. Press it down nice and firmly. And then I'm gonna fold my zine back over. I'm just gonna use my bone folding tool there to make sure I've got that nice and crisp. And then I'm going to just cut around this paper to make it the right size for the zine. So I've got a few things I'm hoping to get filmed for my channel quite soon. Um, I visited a charity shop over the weekend and I've picked up a couple of bits from there. And I've placed an order on Etsy for something I'm really excited for. So I'll probably do a really mini kind of Etsy charity shop haul type video and then talk you through what I'm hoping to do with those things. It's going to, I was going to say that I'm going to release some tutorials using them, but that's probably not quite right because it's going to be something new to me. So I'm going to be learning whilst filming, which could be interesting. But so I'm hoping that you know, it's kind of a mixture between a craft and journaling project. So if you're looking for something new you'll be able to once you've seen what I've got from the halls you'll be able to kind of join in with me if you fancy it and learn around about at the same time. I'm now just going to add some brown and this is the vintage photo distress ink around the outside of this I just want to grunge it up a little bit. So I'd love to know if you've got any other projects on the go at the moment, anything else you're working on. I've been really enjoying watching all sorts of um, YouTube creative videos. While I've been working on other projects, I often kind of pop YouTube on in the background and sometimes just let it 
I find a topic I'm interested in and let it just keep recommending videos to me. So I've got something on in the background and it's, I find it really interesting when something just like sparks a new idea in you, not necessarily exactly what you've just been watching, but just a small part of it or a way you think you could interpret it into your kind of own journals or other projects you're working on. So do let me know if you've got anything else you're working on at the moment. And I've been obviously doing these zines since the beginning of the year. I also do my creative challenges on Patreon. So you'll see that every month I then release a flip through of the little books that I've been working on. And I've been doing quite a lot more painting recently. In fact, I'll share a little bit of that with you in a minute. Just really kind of simple watercolor paintings getting lots of ideas from Pinterest and just trying out a few different styles. So I've put that around the edge and I just want to add a little bit along the spine as well, just to take down the colors a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. So the little paintings I've been working on, I was sent this tiny book by um, a company called Letter Alley. They reached out to me on Instagram to ask if I'd like one. And it's the Deckled Edge paper. I, I, I assume it's the Cardi paper because it's really similar to the Cardi paper that I've used. So I've just been trying to do a quick five minute painting every day. Try not to worry too much kind of about the details, but a lot of these are images that I found on Pinterest and just fancied a go at. So just trying different things out. So I'm hoping to stick to one a day and then perhaps film a little flip through of that as well. So that's, I've really enjoyed some, I like things that are small because it just helps to be quick and creative, but making sure that even on really busy days, hopefully I've got time to still do something with it. So I want to, these again were part of my printable bundle. And I really like that, fill your paper with the breathings of your heart. So I'm gonna cut that out, but I also want to add some other bits to that cover as well. So let's have a look. I think if I trim that down, that should just fit. Yep, great, okay. I think if I add anything else, I want to just add some splashes to that cover as well. So I'm gonna just clear my space a little bit. And for this, I'm gonna use some Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain in Brushed Pewter. And I find with the spray itself, it can be quite unpredictable. So I give it a shake and then I'll just tap it off the end. So this is how I nearly always use these spray stains, because then I can just flick it and add some delicate dots. Whereas when I've used that spray, it's probably because it's got a bit clogged up over time. I've had this bottle many years, but I find I end up sometimes with kind of big clumps of spray, which isn't quite what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna use my heat tool quickly to dry off the spray stain. Okay, I think that's all dry now. I'm gonna bend it back into shape because once you use kind of a heat tool on it, it tends to warp the paper a little bit. And I mentioned that I'd bought some printables. One of the things I've been doing is in the evening, taking this over kind of to the settee with a bunch of printables and just sitting, I've mounted lots of these onto card and then just cut them out and distressed around the edges. So I've got lots of new bits to play with in my journals. I don't think it's going to be too big, but these ones I just left as paper. 
I thought it would be nice to add something floral to the front so I'll have a quick look to see whether any of those work and this here was my daughter's actually she was about to get rid of it I think she had makeup and different things in it but asked if I'd like it and I can always find a use for any kind of storage container So I think, I think not that one, but I quite like both of these. Mm. Okay, I think that could work. So I'm gonna glue that down. But yeah, I've really enjoyed having all the little printables and I find it really relaxing to sit and fussy cut and distress around the edges, particularly if there's something that I'm watching on TV. So if I want to be able to concentrate on it, just having something that I can do with my hands but doesn't really take too much concentration, I actually find really relaxing. So it's been quite nice to sit and do those in the evening. Okay, so before I glue that, I'm just going to, again, use some Distress Ink around the outside. But we've been getting out a little bit more. It's, um, I guess, strange here in the, U well, in England, certainly, I was gonna say the UK, but I know we've been at different stages, um, but we've had the, see all of our restrictions lifted, but it's been quite kind of interesting to see because actually not, everything's open, but not as much has changed in terms of people's behavior, certainly around here. People are still mainly keeping their distance and wearing masks and, so it's just been quite interesting to see kind of how people f feel about it. But, uh, so it has enabled us to get out a little bit more, see a few people, but I think it's, it's safe to say we're still being sort of a little bit cautious in what we do with the kind of newfound freedom, especially li we live somewhere kind of really, well, I was gonna say really touristy, the bit we're in, is close to lots of tourist areas but lots of the properties around here have been converted into um, kind of Airbnbs, holiday lets so it's much busier here than it is in kind of more normal years. Okay so I've tucked a little bit of that under the leaf and I'm really happy with that, that's now the cover done. So I'm probably just going to do the first two pages like I did last time because I like to know that I've got enough space then to fill in any of the other main things that happen throughout the course of the month. And what I'm going to do for these pages is in my new book on page 34 I've got this stenciling as it happened I did it for the month of August with a masked off area in the middle. So I think I'm gonna create something really similar to that, um, just as a mini version in my zine, so I can set my intentions for the month of August. I have had a few requests for tutorials from different pages in this book, and I've made a note of them. I promise you I will definitely get to them, but so please do, if you've got the book and there's any bits where you kind of think you'd like to see me filming it rather than just my written description of how I did it, please do just let me know. So I think I'm actually gonna put my August on this side. So I'm gonna mask off an area I think what I'm going to do is just draw around this washi tape. So, because I want a circle to be able to mask off an area on that page. And I'm going to cut 
cut around that so that I can do all of my stenciling around it but just leave that centre area blank. off areas for stenciling I tend to just use some kind of low tack skinny washi tape and I fold it over to make almost like double sided tape but you don't want anything too strong because when you lift it off your page you want to make sure that it's not going to rip or lift up any, any of that paper underneath so I'm going to just pop that I'm going to go for it roughly in the centre and I'm going to use this Tim Holtz stencil and I think the colours I'm going to go for are the Distress Oxide in Tattered Rose and in Worn Lipstick. So again I'm going to use my ink blending tool and just swap over the pads. And this colour I think is quite pale, but I'm hoping it will still pick up. Oh yeah, I can see that coming through. I'm just going to add the different colours in various places across the page. And if you're masking, you just want to make sure you just go over the edge of where that masked shape is and I do this with rectangles sometimes anything where I want a nice full background but just somewhere to be able to write on top and I'm going to do the other page as well but because I want this stencil to hopefully kind of stay in place I'm going to finish off this one this side first move on and do exactly the same thing on the other side I also wanted to say hello and welcome if you found me from Wonderlust, which is the kind of all year workshop that's run by Cassia at Everything Art. My classes just released over there within the last week and I've just loved seeing everybody's interpretations of my class and I also saw my numbers grow on YouTube so I'm imagining some of you have just found me from that so welcome. I've filmed for Wonderlust for the last two years now and I'm not teaching on it next year but only because at the time when they were sending the invites out I had so much on the go actually with my second book and I just I couldn't even think about it at the time and I know they're really organized and kind of start early with all of the kind of getting the teach material together and filling out your Bio, your biographies and things like that and I just knew that I wasn't in the right headspace at the time but I've absolutely loved teaching on Wonderlust and if I get invited to go back and do it again in the future I've no doubt I will because I think it's a fantastic thing to be part of. Okay so now I've got my pages there and hopefully when we lift this off I just peel it away carefully so I've got that lovely little circle there. And before I write, I am going to just quickly dry this off. The ink's quite dry, but it can stay kind of a bit damp and waxy for a while. So I just want to make sure I don't smudge it. And I'd usually do some brush lettering for my heading, but 
I'm not convinced that with my thick brush pen I'm going to fit August in there so I'm going to do some faux calligraphy I think because I can control the size of that a little bit more. So I'm just using a black Muji gel pen. And if you're kind of new to brush lettering, this is a really good way to start, but I find it fun anyway, because you can have a lot of fun with this and adding different colors. So I've lettered out the word and in the same way that you would with brush lettering, all of your downward strokes would be thicker. So I'm just using my pen to draw in where those thick downward lines would go. And then you could just color in these thick lines using the same pen. So I could use the Muji pen to do that. But I thought it'd be quite nice if I added some color, perhaps using a different colored gel pen. I've got my little pot of pens here. Just trying to decide what colours to go for. But I think that pink might be nice and I'm going to use a Uniball Signo gel pen. And I'm just going to colour in those downward lines. And if you do go over the lines a little bit, it's really easy to then just go back in and kind of draw your outside lines again to tidy it up a bit. I think actually where I've got this pen out, I might just draw some little dashes all the way around the outside of the circle. So that's looking really nice and summery with the colours I've used and it just reminded me I got sent some really lovely posts. I'm just going to open this up a moment. So these were sent to me by Daisy from My Green Cow and she sent me some postcards and papers as well. And Daisy's got a really lovely shop which I will link down below. And I'm one of her patrons and she reached out to me and asked if I'd like to um, have some of the new products that she'd listed in her shop. And I said, oh yeah, I'd love to try them out. And they're so beautiful and summery. So these are die cuts. I'm just trying to decide where I want things on my page. I think that would look really nice there. So I'm gonna glue that one down. a little hello sunshine at the top hoping for some sunshine I have to say at the moment well, we had a week where it was just kind of almost unbearably warm I think we have homes that don't have air conditioning it doesn't take 
too many days of heat for it to get a little bit too much but now we've uh, we've got the other side of our British weather which is lots of rain so it's it's always one extreme to the other here in uh, the summer I'm going to pop that there and I'm going to use this page to write out my intentions for the month and I think I said last month I really like doing that because it's not my goals as such I do put my goals in my bullet journal the things that I kind of want to achieve and need to get done but I actually really like having something which is just more about my intentions how I want to treat myself how I want to spend my time I love some of these for snail mail, things like that. I'm just trying to see whether there's something else I want to add down at the bottom. I, I think that will look good there. This is something I'm loving about these zines because they're just so quick to get a couple of pages done. And I think it's, if you're kind of newer to doing more written journaling. This is a really good way to start because it's so quick and you can get a couple of pages done in here within a really short period of time. Okay, so I'm gonna give it my heading, so intentions for the month. I'm going to write these out and then I'll come back and just let you know the sorts of things I've written. So that is my pages complete for the beginning of this zine and I will fill out these other ones throughout the course of the month with any photos or things that happen. So my intentions for the month, I've put continue listening to my body and taking plenty of rest, be bold and try out new things, get outside as often as possible and keep laughing. So I'm really happy with those as my intentions for the month and we've got that cover done. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching and I absolutely love it when people keep sharing their zines on Instagram. So if you do make one, please do tag me in on the photo. I'd absolutely love to see your zines. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. I appreciate you so much. I really hope you're doing well. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.